Guest's second ton gives Derbyshire strong start. Last week was a chastening affair for Glamorgan, brushed aside by Middlesex at Sophia Gardens. They were on their travels this time out. Derbyshire, their hosts at the Encora County Ground, fresh off the back of their first win of the season away at Leicestershire. And with more than 1,500 runs already to their name across just four innings, Derbyshire decided to bat, but would be pegged back early. Captain Billy Godelman not in the best of form, and out caught behind off Hogan. Sean Massoud, though, was still there. The key wicket, the linchpin of the Derbyshire side so far this season. And with Brooke Guest at the other end, the pair left the early wicket behind and built a 50 partnership. And they kept on going, Derbyshire not disrupted by the departure of their captain, up to the break on 74 for one. Masood looked in the mood again after lunch, quickly ticking the score up to 100 runs and racing towards another landmark score of his own. A single was all he needed to reach yet another 50. This one scored off 93 balls and taking Derbyshire beyond 100. The importance of Masood's wicket wasn't lost on Glamorgan. Hogan stretched to his right to take a sharp caught and bold chance. The opener out for 60. Guest wasn't put off. He continued to be a thorn in the visitor's side, and his persistence came with the just reward of a half century. Scored off 123 balls. The three runs he took also increased the value of the third wicket to 50. He and Madsen were still there at tea. The score up to 210 for two, and Derbyshire had started to take a little bit of control. And they tightened their grip on the innings after the break. The third wicket worth 100 with a single off Madsen. And the milestones kept on coming. Madsen up to 50 with two runs off the bowling of Labashane. Labashane was also the bowler when Guest brought up 100, scored off 196 balls. The shot to get there almost a carbon copy of Madsen's. And then with yet another two, Derbyshire were up to 250. The third wicket was soon worth 150 runs, but Glamorgan were about to bring their stand to an end. Madsen went first, trapped in front by Nisa for 70, and Guest soon followed. Hogan fired one past his outside edge and knocked back the off stump, the number three out for 109. Connors two would fall before the day was done. Out for a two ball duck to Nisa, Duploy and McKinnon escorted off soon after, with light deemed insufficient to continue. Glamorgan had rallied towards the end of the day with those three crucial wickets, but they'll have work still to do when they return on day four. Derbyshire, meanwhile, will be determined to take advantage of their strong position.